you up. Plus the sweat. Up on my gauges to it. Look at them. Oh, I'm sweating. Overcharged. Look at this thing. Zero superheat, 28 degrees. So it's cool. Unbelievable. It's overcharged. I gotta take some out. This guy's got a Sanyo. I don't think this one's running. It's disconnected. change of filters, the filters are all blocked. Yep, definitely overcharged. So overcharged, take some more out. I don't even have any sub, uh, superheat at all. 570, baby. It's the way to go. Back at 46, it's way too cold. Get some super heat out of it at least. Suction line's coming back at 45. Too cold. Evaporator 46. I get to zero, it start coming. My soap people start showing up here. Unbelievable. I'm gonna shit load out of this one. Flooding back. Still high. This is a different job than an evaporator I clean, so we want the same unit. Free on out of this baby. Yeah. I went downstairs, I checked the fan, I put a new filter in it, everything seems to be working down It's basically a gas fired furnace with an A coil piston. Uh, 36 on the sub cool. Trying to get some kind of super heat here. Still waiting. Whenever you see a compressor like that sweating, you know there's an issue. The compressor should never sweat. All that mold around here, that green mold. It's not right. Still flipping high, unbelievable. It's finally starting to come up, man. I dumped a bunch out. I couldn't believe how much I took out of this thing. Unbelievable. So it's finally starting to come up. I was back, coming back like 38 on my suction line. Nine, nine degrees sub-cool now, and my soap beat's finally starting to 
show itself. Oh, there it goes again. I'll take some more out. Might have the wrong size orifice in the um, A coil or something. The system's been in for years and years and years. Well, see if we can take some more out. Get my numbers where I want to see them. Probably sweating like sweating away. Alright, my super heat's starting to come up now. I'm still dumping. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I took out about eight, eight, nine pounds out of this baby. No way it. Let you guys know. Ridiculous. My suction line shouldn't be coming back anymore, you know, around 50 degrees that I'm looking for. I don't want to be coming back in, in the 30s. Let that stabilize for a while. See what happens there. Five seventy man. Testo, that's the way to go. We're gonna have numbers that we can work with now. Let's see, yeah, my, my my suction line's still at 48. Still kind of cold, but she's coming up. Let's talk about flooding back. Evaporate is at 33. Wait till it gets stabilized, and I'll show you what everything is here. It's a piston, so it's not a TXV. Looking a lot better now. Surprise these things run like this. You guys check out the Sienio. church here and it's got like a uh, kind of like a unit hanging right in the right in the ceiling okay wants me to look at this but I'm gonna have to come back it's like seven o'clock at night okay, no way I'm gonna start on this one now pretty cool looking different like a giant mini split crap where it hangs like right in the ceiling like kind of hanging down shoots out four ways definitely a different unit Still starting to look a little bit better. Suction line still at um, 48 degrees coming back, which is a little colder than I want. Evaporate is 38. Take a little bit more out of it, I guess. I took some out, I added, put a little bit back in, type of thing. And Trying to stabilize it where I, where I want it. All right, guys, I'm happy with this here. I got down 10 degrees sub cold, 15 on the super heat, but. My suction line's coming back about 53, which is good. Liquid line's 95. Evaporator's 39. 105. It's probably 90 degrees, so that's like 15 degree delta T across the condensing unit. You know, 
cool shit like this, you really can't always go by tire superheat. You gotta look at everything. In the real world, sometimes you have to make adjustments and um, hold what you think is best. I'm, I'm happy with this charge. Before I had zero superheat and 30, 38 uh, subcool, 38. Like, like crazy. I think my liquor line coming back was like 38 degrees, now it's like 50, almost 54, so that's good right there. If I try to get my soup beat any higher, my liquor line's going to be coming back too, too hot. My suction line, I should say, sorry. Well, that's going to be it. That's good there. T1 suction line. T2 is uh, liquid line. 16 degree, so cool. 9.7 on the superheat. On a, on 9.7 on the subcool. 15.5 on the superheat. Suction line temperature coming back. Liquid line temperature going out. Fifteen degree delta T across the uh, condensing unit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Basically, I took out uh, six pounds out of that system. Pretty close to it. Six pounds.